Hello YouTubers. Well, I'm going to show you how to set your screensaver and how to change your power settings for optimal conf configuration that will be less damaging on your system. System. So first you want to right click the screen, go to personalize. Now click on screensaver. Right here you can change the screensaver to whatever you want it to be. I quite often run mine on Mystify. Most of them, if you click on settings nowadays, will tell you that there are no settings. And optimal for most monitors will be anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. If you want to lock your computer out to where after you move the mouse and it comes, move the mouse or touch the keyboard and it comes out of the screensaver, that they have to put in a password to be able to continue using the computer. You can put the on resume display log on screen. That will force you to put the password in to be able to even use the computer after it comes off of the screensaver. Otherwise, you can leave it deselected. And, you know, anytime you're ready to use it, just bump the mouse and the computer's up and going. And then, of course, once you change all that, you get that set. Set the 15 to 20 minutes. Set your screensaver. Just click apply. Now, for the power settings, you'll see right here below that is power management. Click on the change power settings button. And you'll see you have balanced in the AS Rock Extreme Tuner Utility. Yeah, I use the AS Rock Extreme Tuner. Most of the time you're going to run on balanced. I'm going to show you all the settings for balance as if that's what I'm currently set on. Change plan settings. On the dis turn off display, you can set it to turn it off if you want it to after a set amount of time. I just set mine to never. That's kind of the whole point of the screensaver. And if I'm going to be away long enough, I'll just turn the monitor off myself. Because the monitor is still powered on. It just shuts down the signal to the display. It doesn't actually turn the display off. And then f put the computer to sleep. In most cases, you're going to want to set this to never. Now on a laptop, you'll have it set up to set the computer to sleep. But on a desktop, trust me, set that to never. And then click Save Changes. Once you click the save changes, it's going to go back. That's fine. Just click change plan settings and then go to change advanced power settings. Now this one right here that I'm fixing to show you is a major one that can actually cause you to lose hard drives relatively quick. This turn off hard disk after, normally that will be set anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Bump that dude to zero. If it's on whatever, drop it down to never. Turn, again, turning the hard drives on and off all the time can cause those things to wear out very quickly. You will lose hard drives relatively fast this way. I don't know why they set that up to do that. Granted, yeah, it is a great feature on a laptop because you can shut down the drives and stuff while you're not using it. The system will go into a power saving mode and you hardly use any battery life at all. On a desktop, that is the worst thing to do. It is not designed for that, and you will destroy drives fast. The second one is go to wireless adapter. No matter what system this is on, if it is a laptop or a desktop, make sure it is set on maximum performance. If it is set on anything for power saving, that means the system when it goes to idle will shut down that device and when it does that a lot of times it won't come back without a reboot. That's going to save you a lot of headaches. I do mean a lot of headaches. And the last and final one is sleep. You can leave the sleep settings on on the uh, laptop. Matter of fact I'd even leave them at defaults and leave it alone. But uh, as far as it goes for the hibernation and sleep times I would turn the sleep after to never on a desktop and the hibernate after on the settings to never. That way it does not try to shut the system down and go into a power saving mode because that as I stated earlier will cause wear and tear on the system. Once you get all those set click apply OK. You can now close this. Your settings are all done. You're ready to go. You now have a screensaver set. You have it set whether or not they require the password when it comes off the screensaver. And you don't have to worry about the stupid power management destroying your computer quicker than it needs to be. If you know anybody that needs help with their computer systems, by all means direct them to my videos. This information is absolutely out there for everybody. And as always, watch, like, and share, and have a great day.